up YouTube, Prego5 here, welcome back to another video here in the channel. Now today's video is going to be a breakdown video of the new Outbreak trailer, Call of Duty just released literally a few minutes ago, as well going over the blog post they released with it. So if you guys yet to see this trailer, I'm going to go ahead and play it first, and then I'm going to go ahead and break it down. All teams, field ops deploying an Outbreak zone, ready to work. Seen it, let's go ahead and get right into the breakdown. So, starting off here, I do have it in like slow mo, so it goes slower. We have a new shot here. It looks like this is Warzone because uh, at the top here it does say Cold War and Warzone, so this is probably a new Warzone shot, maybe of a new map or a new area, something that I'm not completely sure. I'm not in the Warzone, but I'm guessing this is Warzone because you see gunfire going back and forth. And we know Outbreak is just four players, so let's continue. You can see uh, our character here. Using the die machine from the machina and outbreak um, It's cool. They're bringing it back um, It would probably be like we brought it with us when we left or something like that But it's cool to bring the one weapons back. I think they're bringing back the one weapon from firebase C as well So it's somewhere in this trailer, but yeah, let's continue um, You can see the dragon head that is probably one of the objectives um, I'm not sure if it's like related to the dragon head and uh, drive drag because it looks exactly the same or they're gonna Spin it some other way or something, but it looks like it's connected to something. Um, obviously, it's a soul, like a soul box. Uh, it's exactly how it was in the uh, Derizion Drag. You see the dragon eating the zombie, so it probably is a soul box. Um, you can see our character. That's probably another uh, thing of Warzone. You can see characters getting shot. And then Cold Deep Blackouts, Cold War Zombies Outbreak official trailer. All right, continuing here. It's probably you can see this is where our characters are dropping in four characters. You know, the Requiem, everything like that. So this is probably giving us the first shot of, like, the first arrow we drop into. You see the hills back here. So this is probably the first arrow right when we uh, start where we're going to start at. Continuing, you see the Requiem on the helicopter. Um, this is an overshot look. So this is probably the first arrow we start. You can see a little purple in the background. Probably some dark ether uh, zone right there. Continuing. Squad up. So obviously four people, another shot of our characters, just like walking in the area, and survive. A uh, shot of, I think this is the armor, a hand of the armored zombie. You see more purple smoke in the background. You see how there's another shot of the like, armored zombie. A new zombie's experience. A character, a, a shot of our character, and a, you know, a holding our guns, some uh, close-ups. Um, some zombies running in the woods. This shot back there. You can see some more purple in the background right there. And it looks like this is more like 
flaring up. More shots about characters with our guns, which, you know, nothing special there. And zombies in the woods with some C4, some classic C4 plays. Are they XM4, I think that is, or something like that? One of the grenade launchers. An area right here. Obviously, we're just shooting some zombies, doing the objectives. A lot of this, uh, like, you know, trailer is cinematic, so a lot of it will just be, like, us, our characters shooting zombies and everything, so there's nothing really special to break down there, so I'll be skipping those. So, like, this, more zombies running through the woods. You can see dark ether crystals, it looks like, back here. More, uh, smoke, purple smoke from the dark ether, maybe. Um, so more zombies in the woods. You can see another shot here of the purple smoke. The purple smoke has to be important somehow because it's like almost in every shot here. Uh, zombies looks like an area raid here. Um, don't know what this is, but uh, probably a new because I haven't played any of the fire team maps, whatever. So I don't know what these locations are. If you guys do, let me know in the comments below. Characters running through the woods. More zombies shooting. Uh, cars. Obviously, we can drive cars in the map. A new way of transportation. Um, you shoot zombies from the car. Looks like. New slow-mo up there. Some hitting some zombies. One of my favorite parts is coming up here. I, I uh, saw when I was re-watching. Panzer. A new look of the Panzer from Black Ops 3. Like I said before. Can't believe he's back. Can't wait to see how hard he is to beat. But he got a new look. A new paint job. Look, C4 on the hood, jumping out of the car, and blowing them up. I see people reenacting this, probably getting getting some sick plays to kill the Panzer. Look, boom, blows him up. It looks like a one shot, maybe. Maybe uh, a character getting us up. That's cool. Probably uh, get us see some cool plays with that. You can see a dark ether orb right here. It looks a little different from what it is before. You can see like the lines intersecting here and everything. So maybe a new portal, who knows. Um, you can see the blast. You can see the pack-a-punch right here. The blast like it does on uh, Firebase C when you can finish the generator is that blast. It that's right there. You can see the Wonder Fizz right here as well. <clears throat> so they're both in the same area. And a little tower right here, which I think this is what it opens this up. A portal kind of takes us to the next area. Like see, our character's getting sucked in and taken to a new area right here, which is the snow area. So that's how we're going to transport from place to place. Once we finish the objectives, a little tower will pop up. A portal will spawn and it will take us to the next area. I don't know how many areas are going to be. Maybe, hopefully there's a good amount of them. And you see, this is the, I think, Euro Mountains one. The snow. This is cool, a cool shot right here. So you jump, when you spawn in, jump off the jump pad. And then you could parachute down into the area map. You see some hellhounds. There were fire ones and... The ones from the machine as well with the mimics. So there's going to be like every boss so far is going to be in this mode. You see the more purple smoke in the background. And now is the uh, rover one. So I think each <clears throat> each um, area is going to have its own mission. So the Euro Mountains. I think it's Euro Mountains. The snow area is going to be the escort missions. I think there will be more than one in each area. But this is probably the main one in that area. Uh, so it's basically it's, uh escort mission. You know. We have everyone that plays... Uh, Cold Duty in general has done some sort of escort mission and like an Easter egg or whatever. And here is a new boss right here. You see the dogs, a new boss. I don't know, maybe it's an energy kind of boss. Maybe it looks like it's all purple and everything. And he shoots like electric at him. So this could be like the Avogadro, you know, mixed, like, you know, revamped in some way. Because it's literally like the same thing as the Avogadro. Shoots electric out of, you know, basically his powers are electric. And he's like skinny and everything all made of electric like that looks like you destroy him on one rpg shot looks like well um that shot we got the land rover into the objective area and here since we did that uh the tell uh, the tower has spawned and we're going to a new area so i think every time we complete um like before we go into a new area or we'll spawn the pack a punch and the wonder fizz that way we could pack a punch our guns everything before going to the next area i don't think it's going to be laying in the map anywhere i think we have to uh, complete all objectives before we move to the next spot it's going to give us the, you know, opportunity to pack a punch and everything. Which I think it's pretty cool. The Wonder Fizz right there, drinking... I don't know, is that the jug have a new look to it? Uh, I think it's the same look, okay. And you see the tower, we're going to get sucked up and in, into the new area. So wonder, uh, the jump pads are back, like in the last one you saw. And you see a new shot of the Mimics, the dogs, everything. So all the bosses are going to be in here. I haven't seen the one from the machine yet. I don't know if he's in here. Um, this is probably the objective for the main area. Something to do with a rocket. Uh, I'm not sure the, uh, what the objective 
will be, but something to do with a rocket. Maybe shoot a rocket at something or something more. You see a green glow in the background. Maybe a power-up drop could be. All right, and you see uh, these little containers that crystals pop out of, um, like the ones we see in the dark ether. I don't know what this could be. A power-up you can see right here as well. Another shot on the mimics. Um, yeah, and uh, this shot right here is pretty cool. So I don't know if this is like a score streak. I think it's a score streak, but look how it destroys these mimics right here. It destroys these zombies. There's a shot where it shoots, I think, the mimic. Look, it just destroyed the mimic. And uh, new, oh, a crystal right there. It threw a crystal. So that's probably one of the objectives. Probably pick it up and take it somewhere. And this is the one, uh, the one weapon from Firebase C. Um, I forget what it's called. The Ray Kang. It is in this map as well. So we're going to get a good amount of one weapons here. And this is probably one we're going to exfil. So there's an option to exfil before, like, you know, exfil move on the next area. So this is probably just shot of them exfilling. So just to let you guys know, you can't exfil. The Mangler's back as well. I forgot to mention that. The Mangler, I think the only one that's not in here is the one from Firebase C. Loot. No, not Firebase B. The Machina. Loot. The uh, crate is back with the drops the loot. Fight. And I think the last one survived, maybe? And survive. Ooh, a little red there. And survive. Alright, new shot, some zo I was killing some zombies, explosions in the background, zombies, outbreak, zombies, outbreak, new mode coming to Call of Duty this week. There's also a free access, uh, the one that comes out 25th to March, free access. So yeah, that is going to be the breakdown portion of this video, so let's go ahead and go over and read the blog post. Now, onto the blog post. Season 2 brings a brand new way to experience zombies in Cold War. This objective-based game experience will task uh, squads of up to four, so you can do it solo or four players. And, uh, aiding and recommending their base, undertaking at Operation Threshold, set across multiple regions on the Yule Mountains of Russia, outbreak encourage exploration and risk-taking to maximize the spoils of these zombies affected territories with teamwork and coordination being essential to completing your missions and uh, living the tell tale Alongside the release of outbreak comes a new Ethereum Crystals, refined and flawless, so this is probably, you're probably going to have to get these to upgrade the other two tiers because each perk and field upgrade, everything gets uh, an extra two tiers. So you'll probably need those to upgrade those and not the regular ones. That will help Rekka um, agents permanently upgrade their weapon classes, fields upgrades, perks, and ammo. So everything is getting two more uh, perk upgrades. From its purpose into the end of Dark Great, uh, Dark Ether story to details, blah, blah, blah. All right, so this is a trailer. Operation Threshold, Rekka's Gambit, and Outbreak. Across the uh, Dime Machine and Firebase C, Rekka learned just how far ahead of my group is in their arms race to harvest Ethereum. Potentially an even deadlier secret war compared to a public conflict between the East and the West. After several desperate attempts to catch up to the, uh, the adventuries, the CIA-backed International Research Group and Task Force has finally discovered a major outbreak zone, the largest outbreak zone on the planet. And it also gets some new screenshots and everything. Following the discovery, Recom launched Operation Threshold, a multi-phase campaign involving all the Recom's research departments. Already, Recom Science and Military Research Departments have identified three massive regions of outbreak zone to explore and investigate. Even with a breakthrough, however, Omega Group is still one step ahead of Recom as they've begun investigating these regions long before Recom arrived. Both sides do not only believe the secrets waiting in their own mountains is the uh, key to unlo uh, fully understanding Dark Ether, but the key to winning the Dark Cold War. Your mission outbreak. Now you, the elite soldier, are here to aid recommend the most important operation, along with the three other operators. Your objective is to explore designated regions of the dark, uh, outbreak zone around the Yellow Mountains, assist recommends other divisions in completing the objectives as our most elite strike team. After each experiment is done, you must either successfully ex uh, exfil I'm guessing, the area, or you choose to Accept the risk of deadly encounters, enter the rest of the Dark Ether to another region, more objectives. Surrounding these regions is a new aspect of the Dark Ether to contend with. First spotted in 5 BCs, the phase supernatural force renders familiar areas deadly and can, be per can put previously out-of-bound zones in play. A typical operate mission begins with record strike team entering one of these regions via helicopter armed with a custom starting weapon and field upgrade. A waypoint in the overworld, which also appears on the uh, main map and minimap, marks the location of record's primary objectives. So you don't have to go and find the objective. It will be on your map. It will be like a star on the on the little mini map up top. So you can just, you know, go to it. Unlike any other zombie experience thus far, there are no step paths to and from the objective. Agents can take as much time as they wish to explore the area, searching for rewards, either on loot chests, encountering various random events, or activating a trial computer for a small cost of 500 essence. Recruit agents can also take jump paths found in the region that launch them in the air, following them to reach objectives safely. And if they have skill enough, parachute to collect, collect essence containers during the de uh, descent that can cover the cost of their flight free and then some so basically when you spawn it you don't have to go right to the objective you could it's like an open world so you can go explore the area and do everything else 
and maybe, you know, get, get good guns and everything and then go to the objective. So you don't have to go to it right away. And as well, if you use the jump pad, it's like there will be um, essence and the containers in the air. So if you're good, you can use a parachute to glide into them and get more cash. So basically, you're covering your flight beat. No matter how a squad gets the main experiment site, their survival hinges on successfully completing this primary objective. Fail an objective, your mission is over. The main investigation is going to be one of the following. So defend. As part of Rocker's research, Dr. Ether, there are curious about the genetic code and affected with numerous tests failed due to the teams being killed or complete samples from the agents who submitted them. Your task is to claim a full impact uh, sample, place it in a device setting, then defend the machine while uploads data. So just a classic defend thing, like the uh, poor, the uh, generators of Firebase Z, uh, you start them and zombies attract them and you have to uh, defend them until they're done. Depending on the location of the device, numerous strategies for keeping the device unlike be effective, like using vehicles in outdoor locations or mid-range weapons for busier locales. No matter where the device is, the usual scattered hordes of the undead will uh, undoubtedly funnel in toward the scanning machine, making close quarters weapons and placeable equipment or support items solid choices for defending it. Escort, so obviously I'm going to read it, but I'm going to tell you this is a classic export, uh, escort mission. Recurrent recently developed a fleet of highly advanced yet vi highly va uh, vulnerable rovers to help them detect dimensional portals in dark ether. Your mission is to ensure the rover with a, its captured specimen finds the dimensional portal somewhere in the outbreak zone and get through in one piece. For this experiment, it is wise to remember back to your security uh, detail training. Keep the principle of the rover at the center as one, move, one unit and shift you with threats as they come. And retrieve. Also, a new photo of the Panzer. Somewhere in the upper zone, there are two ether harvesting units that have been gathering raw ethereum from the atmosphere and growing ethereum crystals inside of the containment canisters. These ethereum canisters need to be extracted to a safe location. Fortunately, a nearby set of rocks can carry them away from harm. For these experiment, agents will need to carry these containers to the rocks man uh, manually for extraction due to their size. They will be unable to use any of the weapons or equipment and will be rendered slower than usual. However, like when carrying the canister, your normal photo upgrade is placed with a very powerful one, which one can emit a small burst of ethereum energy that knocks down nearby zombies, helpful in pitch that other operators can, uh, cannot pick them up. So basically, that head from fire base C, how you pick it up and it's on your hand, that's basically how the container is going to be. Eliminate. Using a GPS satellite tracker, record and can pinpoint the exact location of HVT's high valuable targets across the mentions for their experiment. This tracker is used to find them elite enemies who will face up to existence after their uh, position is compromised. Here, agents will uh, have to make a, strateg a strategic decision, dodge the high value targets long enough to clearing the sure wave of enemies or deal enough damage to the uh, value targets of force and move the next wave of the fight, which will wipe the remaining wave. Now, I don't know about, you know, what you guys think, but when I first saw this picture, first I thought it was transit because, like, you know, the chairs and everything, and you know how when you spawn in trains, it's like that train, that air bus waiting room. I don't know. To me, this looks exactly like it. You know, the chairs, the window right there. Except I think they're you know in transit. There's only one door, but now there's two or something. But I don't know if I'm just tripping, but it looks like transit to me. Hold out. A massive, unstable Ethereum crystal is emitting alarming amounts of dark energy to a point where some researchers reported hearing voices as they approached it. Due to its chaotic nature, destruction is the only option on the table. Although attempting to do so will send agents to the dark ether itself, where they must hold out against any undead threats until the explosives are triggered. This experiment will be most familiar uh, veteran recommend agents as zombies will uh, flow into the uh, confined space where windows can be boarded up for temporary protection. User trains survive for as long as the timer states and use power up subordinate windows to maximize your chances of holding out. As the upbreak continues to grow, expect the more types of investigations to complete through the Ural Mountains. The beacon to expel or not expel. After completing an experiment, all agents must move to a mysterious beacon marked somewhere with the region. Just like getting into the objective itself, there is no ladder path to the beacon, uh, but the roaming hordes may uh, make more routes more viable than others. Once the beacon is active, several useful machines will appear. These including a crafting table for creating equipment, support items, armor, and upgrading weapons as the Wonder Fizz, which the, uh, dispenses a very purse of course, pack one machine. Agents are encouraged to use their resources as a station before making a central choice, call it an expo from the outbreak zone, or take a trip to the dimensional portal to a new region somewhere in your mountains. Taking the choice, expo works like it does in Rob Base uh, Black Ops Cold War. Zombie experience get to the expo zone, eliminate any hostages, clear the helicopter for landing, and hop aboard to leave the area. Doing this will successfully offer the, uh, additional rewards on top of what is collected at the outbreak. However, if you take the portal, your squad will begin a new, more challenging mission, traveling to the next outbreak region, and surviving against even more dangerous odds. Each trip through the portal amplifies your potential rewards, but also increases the lethality of the waiting undead horde. No matter which you choose your squad makes, however, rewards are saved for every objective completed. 
the spoils as rival whole new meta. Fleeting main objectives for Expo both offer large XP rewards, uh, new Ethereum crystals. So just basically going over what everything new is. Uh, to learn more about every uh, four and five upgrade coming to zombies as part of these, click our guide. Considering uh, the guide is intended for a program agents looking to drop the outbreak. Of course, well, that is it for the blog post. Um, so yeah, if you guys did enjoy this video, go ahead and leave a like and subscribe. Until next time, I'll see you guys later. Peace out.